If you see a small plane flying low over your community over the next few months, it just might be the U.S. Geological Survey doing some long overdue mapping. The project will also help scientists better track the mineral they say caused our state's multi-million dollar crumbling concrete crisis. Ten years ago, NBC Connecticut Investigates broke the story about the defective material in people's homes. Chief Investigator Len Bestoff has more. This prop plane here is poised and ready to fly all over Western New England for the next few months as it tries to chart the geology of the region so the U.S. Geological Survey has new data. Specific to Connecticut, this aerial project will include mapping veins of pyrotite. It's the mineral experts believe prompted hundreds of concrete basements in Connecticut and Massachusetts to crack, usually costing 200 grand and up to repair. This is amazing. We've been trying to get this plane to come here since 2019. Geologists from Connecticut and Massachusetts are teaming up on this project because Western Mass has the crumbling basement issue as well. The team wants to see where all the pyrotite is to prevent any more quarries from extracting it. We know certain things, but there are other things where we don't know where the geology is. There's a lot of places that might not be mapped as well as they can be. The U.S. Geological Survey says no video or photos will be collected. Think of it as an MRI in the sky that will do mapping by detecting and measuring variations in the Earth's magnetic field and natural low-level radiation. If we drive through Connecticut, what you see are a lot of trees, you see houses, you see lawns, and we can't see the rocks. So this is a way that geologists can see the rocks without actually digging for them. This aircraft will also be charting a number of other geologic phenomena that scientists are interested in, including radon fields and earthquakes. In Plainville, Len Bestoff, NBC Connecticut Investigates.